It is Tuesday, June 2nd. I'm Alicia Smith and a team from Southwest Detroit is being recognized for helping end last night's protest peacefully. 16 year old Stefan Perez, a protest organizer, received a thank you phone call from Mayor Mike Duggan for convincing people to keep the peace and obey the curfew. 700 people walked in solidarity. Organizers in Detroit say that they will be demonstrating every day at 4 p.m. They were also peaceful protests in Troy, where officers took a knee with demonstrators. Many people marched down Big Beaver Road for a couple of miles. Troy police, however, say a 68-year-old man was arrested for intentionally hitting a protester. Michigan is moving into phase four of the state's reopening process. Gatherings of 100 people or fewer are now allowed. On Thursday, retailers can reopen. Starting June 8th, dine-in service can resume at bars and restaurants. Also next Monday, swimming pools and day camps for kids can open. Some retailers are getting the green light to resume bottle returns on June 15th. We're told stores will be able to restrict the number of empties you bring back per visit. Stores will also have the option to only accept returns during certain hours. Kevin. Getting hot and humid today. Highs in the upper 80s. It'll be mostly sunny, a little bit breezy, but uh, wind, or the uh, heat index is going to be about 90 degrees later on today. Then we have the chance of strong thunderstorms after 2 a.m. through early tomorrow morning, drying out tomorrow afternoon. Highs are going to be in the mid-80s the rest of the work week, cooler this weekend.